Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot, um, bringing you your weekly love reads. This video is going to be for the water signs of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Timestamps are below in the description box. These are general reads, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is really not on the mark, go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs. If you're not sure what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below to get you that information. There's also a link in the description the description box below to get you to my personal page if you're interested in a personal read. Um, also, this is for April 3rd through the 9th, but this is just kind of a, a very loose um, time frame. Whenever you see this a video, it's when it's meant for you. They are timeless. I just put the dates on there for my personal information. So these are going to be really quick and dirty um, because tomorrow is April 1st. I'm recording these a bit early. Tomorrow is April 1st. And I need to get my April content out. So these are going to be quick and dirties. Let's get into it. Thanks for watching, guys. So Cancers, what's coming towards Cancer is in love? What's coming towards Cancer is in love? What is coming towards Cancer is in love? The moon card. Mm. The king of pentacles. No, not horrible. The hanged man. The queen of wands and the magician. Wow. Um, I feel like someone who has been keeping their feelings about you um, under wraps is coming towards you. I feel like this person has been manifesting you. This person is wanting you. This person is like praying for you. Um, I feel like this person is showing up in this king of pentacles energy. I feel like um, we have Pisces, Cancer. Uh, we have... We have lots of signs here, but um, to me, the moon card is often a Pisces. I know it's really a cancer for most people, but this is also Pisces, so I have heavy Pisces energy here. But um, I feel like this person was kind of stuck in this hangman energy. I feel like they were hoping and hoping and hoping and praying and hoping and manifesting you and trying to get you to come towards them. And then they kind of decided, you know what, I'm going to just let go and let God. I, I I can't do anything else. I'm just going to see where the cards fall, kind of. So I feel like once they allowed God to take over, some people say the universe, I say God, um, and just let God kind of roll things out, that's when things started working in their favor. I do think they've been waiting for you. I do think they've been hoping for you. I do think they've been manifesting you. Um, I do think this is a soulmate connection. I feel like this is extremely guided um, by God uh, for you guys to come together. I feel like this person has not been honest with you about how they feel. Um, I feel like that is what's going to be exposed and that is what's coming to light. I do think they're going to show up in this King of Pentacles energy and be like this provider, this caretaker. I feel like potentially they leveled up. Like maybe they weren't financially stable previously. Now they're coming in financially stable. Now they're coming in grounded. They're coming in committed. They're coming in loyal. They're coming in um, in this this king of pentacles energy like they're showing up they want to be a caretaker they want to be a provider they want to take care of you they want to provide for you this person is showing up um i feel like this person also has a lot of fiery sexy flirty passionate energy this person is definitely attracted to you i feel like you're probably extremely attracted to them too i feel like there's probably some kind of pull between the two of you but i don't think this person's really expressed their uh, feelings. Yeah, the bottom of the deck energy is the justice card. I feel like things have leveled out. And then we also have the lover's card. So I definitely think this is a, a divinely guided connection between you and this person. Um, we are going to get just a couple cards. We're going to get the love and romance journey cards for cancer. I didn't really think this out well, but that's okay. We're just going to roll with it. summer so this could all be taking place in the summer separation marriage so this could be someone and then we have harmony too which kind of reminds me of the justice card like things get balanced out but um i do feel like this could be someone you're in separation with um separation from it could be someone you dated previously um that really just wanted another chance and kind of leveled up and came back around um i do feel like this will come out in the summer and could potentially lead to a marriage if that's something you are interested in um i'm, I'm like contemplating what to do sorry guys i should have really planned this out a little bit better um yeah i know what i'm gonna do just just for time purposes because i have 
other videos to make. <laughs> so I'm just gonna um, run through these other decks, which I should have pulled out, my apologies. All right, so we're gonna get a couple of love letters speaking our truths from Divine Moon Empress. Whoa, I miss you. I just don't see how this could work, and I'm scared of losing you. I almost feel like um, they're doubting themselves because I feel like they're not sure what your thoughts are or where you kind of see this going. Um, but I feel like, and I feel like you're not necessarily going to be expecting it, but you are going to consider it. So I definitely feel like um, this person is interested in you and then we're going to finish off the read guys with the lyric of the heart from divine moon empress song and your song is um we can't be friends by deborah cox i tried to think of you as just another love in my past that didn't last but it's not that simple baby we can't be friends yeah, so maybe maybe that song is relevant. Like maybe you stated those things to this person. I'm not a thousand percent sure there, but um, I feel like they're just not sure how this is going to work because they're really kind of hesitant about what you might say if they come around. But I do feel like this person is in love with you. I think this person is attracted to you. I think this person has leveled up. I think this person has allowed the natural progression to come through. Um, and I think they definitely want you. I think it's definitely a true love soulmate kind of energy. So we're going to get on to Scorpios. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so, Cancers. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpios. What's coming towards Scorpios in love? Let's check it out. Oh, those cards stopped. Ooh, the four of wands the five of swords and the seven of wands you got some passion there the lover's card nice and the seven of cups interesting all right scorpio so i feel like you what what you have coming towards you in love i feel like you have a twin flame coming around into your energy um you can look that up if you're not sure what that is but uh it's definitely a, a very intense connection it is definitely someone who kind of um, forces you to grow and forces you to learn life lessons. It's not necessarily the easiest person for you. Um, you may or may not know this person um, at the moment, but this person has kind of been involved within you, your, your life in different lifetimes, if you believe in that. But anyways, I feel like this is um, someone who feels like home to you. I feel like they may challenge you, but this person also gives you such a sense of peace that you haven't felt with anyone else. Like this person just kind of feels like home to you. They feel welcoming. They feel warm. You're not really sure as to why you feel the way you do about this person. It's just kind of an, uh, an innate feeling that you have. Um, so I definitely feel like this person has been potentially feeling a little defeated about the situation between you and them. I feel like I'm not sure if maybe they didn't feel like you were open to them or if they were like full of anxiety about the situation, about what you may say or do. I do see that they've been kind of um, closed off with this seven of swords energy. This is kind of like a defensive kind of energy, but more so like if you see her bubble here, um, it's one. there's one wand that's getting in there. So I feel like this person, I feel like honestly... You've been very heavy on this person's mind, and they're like, what do I do with this Scorpio? Do I talk to Scorpio? Do I let Scorpio come to me? Do I state what I feel? Um, I feel like for them, too, with this Four of Wands card, like a Twin Flame energy is like nothing you've ever experienced. I don't think they know what they're experiencing either. Um, I feel like this is the amount of passion they feel for you. They might not even know you that well. They just feel so intently connected to you. And I feel like when you meet them or if you met them, you feel that too. And it's almost like, I don't even know this person like this. Why do I feel this way? Why do I think about them all the time? Why am I like so lost in my thoughts? What am I going to do? Um, this is crazy. I shouldn't let someone in this easily. What in the world? That's kind of how I feel like your person is feeling towards you. But we also have the High Priestess here, which is tapping into your intuition, a very spiritually guided situation. So I feel like um, 
and then the uh, world card. So this is like a completion of a cycle that leads to a positive outcome. So I definitely feel like um, this situation is coming together. It's very intuitively um, based. So I feel like you're going to feel it. They're going to feel it if you haven't already met them. Um, it's going to be an intense connection, something you've never experienced before. Definitely spiritually guided. Um, I don't have cups card here, but like the twin flame card to me is definitely true love situation. Um, someone you want to be with, someone you want to build with, someone you want to grow with. Potentially marry. We have true love. We have soulmates. Marriage. Those are some cards that are out here. So um, I definitely feel like this is an intense connection, but this person's kind of on the fence about what to do. I love it. I love these cards. Um, so we have masked offers. So I feel like this is the person staying so guarded. Like they're not going to just say, hey, Scorpio, I love you. I think I love you because they know that that sounds crazy. So they're going to kind of keep that to themselves. But you guys, we have magnetic connection and soulmate. Absolutely. This is a definite soulmate connection between you and your person. It's a twin flame connection. Holy smokes. All right, let's get some love letters speaking the truth. I was made to love you, and that's how you both are going to feel. And you're not going to understand why. Um, love was just a word until you came along and gave a meeting. I'm telling you, and my heart beats so fast when I see you. I'm telling you, you guys, I can't stop thinking of you. That's that Seven of Cups card. Definite, definite, definite intense connection and you're not even going to understand it all right we're going to get a divine moon empress lyrics of the heart card i don't know if i said these are love letters speaking our truth from divine moon empress and then the um lyrics of the heart card we're just going to see what song pops out for you scorpio and your person i'm ready tevin campbell i'm ready to love you forever hey love now come and love me forever more yes Yes, yes, yes. All right, Scorpios. I love it. I'm so excited for you. Um, I think this is a great connection. Sorry, I'm just trying to rearrange things. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. Uh, and we're going to move on to Pisces momentarily when I get all these cards put back in the deck. Now that song is in my head from Tevin Campbell. I'm a total 90s girl when it comes to music. I like all music. Truly, truly like all music. But um, something about the 90s is so nostalgic. Well, not something. I grew up. That's when I... Music. 80s, 90s, 70s. All right, Scorpios. Thank you so much for watching. I mean, Finkel is Einhorn shirt. Total 90s. Ace Ventura Pet Detective. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm a goofball. All right, here, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's coming towards Pisces in love? Did I, did I say, did I say Finkel versus Einhorn? Finkel is Einhorn. Talking about my shirt, sorry. Pisces, what's coming towards you in love? The Five of Pentacles, that's not great. The Empress, that's a great. Ace of Swords. Oh, you guys get multiple cards. Wow, wow, wubsy. All right, Pisces, you definitely have an intense love connection coming towards you. I feel like, Pisces, you feel left out in the cold. I feel like you... This is usually like someone leaves you out in the cold for some reason, Pisces. I get the vibe for this. is like you screwed up in your mind. Um, you feel like you are not where you want to be, not with who you want to be with. Nothing's going right with you. Potentially, you might have lost a job. There might be financial issues. You're just like down and out. That's how you're feeling. But what's coming toward you in love? Phenomenal, phenomenal things. We got the magic stick. What? What? Yes. Okay. So lots of, sorry, lots of passion. Lots and lots of fiery, sexy, flirty, passionate energy um, and clarity. So, sorry, I messed up my light because I was being silly. This ace of swords here is like getting clarity in your situation. So I feel like you're going to figure out why you had to get to the five of pentacles energy to get to the freaking empress, because that's what's coming. You're moving from the five of pentacles to the freaking empress. Um, lots of clarity, new stable start, 
with someone who is very passionate about you and you're very passionate about them. And rightfully so, because they're showing up as a soulmate energy. They're showing up as a true love energy. The Ten of Cups is true love soulmate wedding. Um, we also have the Empress, which is your divine feminine. Male or female is irrelevant. Um, this is someone who is caring, nurturing, empathetic, sympathetic. This person um, is abundant. So you give this person anything, they multiply it. This person makes you feel so good about yourself. They're such a nurturer and a caretaker. Like you just feel safe with this person. Um, potential pregnancy, if you're looking to have children. Um, I definitely feel like this person is absolutely absolutely in love with you the king of cups we also have that ten of cups which is true love soulmates happily ever after card husband wife kids white picket fence animals like right or husband husband wife wife whatever whatever you're interested in this person is in love with you this person shows you love like crazy um, they may not verbalize it as easily, but they definitely tell or show you they make you feel their love it reminds me of the Garth Brooks song this situation is going to be extremely victorious. You're going from the Five of Pentacles energy to the Six of Wands energy. Um, it's going to be victorious, level, conquer all. Amazing, Pisces. Amazing. All right, let's get the Love and Romance Journey cards for you from Queen Sugar Tarot. Frustration. That's how I feel like you're starting off this energy. Divine Feminine, you guys, that's the same card, that's Empress, and Romance and True Love. Let, let me just show you these cards. So, Frustration, right? Five of Pentacles energy. Divine Feminine, the freaking Empress, same thing, Divine Feminine. True Love and Romance, Romance and True Love, True Love. Those three cards just reiterated three cards that came out in your read. That's amazing. That's freaking amazing. All right, let's get some love letters speaking our truth from Divine Moon Empress. What does Pisces need to hear? And when my nose is itchy. And when my nose is itchy, I feel like that means something. <laughs> All right, let's see what does Pisces need to hear. Being vulnerable scares me. How could I hurt someone so beautiful? And my heart beats so fast when I see you. I'm sorry for all the things I didn't say. If you if you feel like this is someone coming back, um, I feel like that is relevant. And then we are going to finish off your read Pisces with a lyrics of the heart from Divine Moon Empress. This song might be significant to you or you might just need to listen to the lyric. And Pisces, your song is Wonderwall from Oasis. Um, and all the roads we have to walk are winding. And all the lights that lead us there are blinding. There are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how. I'm sorry for all the things I didn't say. And maybe you're going to be the one who saves me. All right, anyways, I was just going on with the lyric. That's not what's on the card. All right, all right, thank you so much, Pisces, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. And until next time, guys, take care. Thank you so much for watching.